to go up. Yeah. All right. Come into our space. I'm very touched that you're all here. Go ahead and find your sit bones. Rock side to side. See if you can find that grounding space. And then think about drawing your spine up, getting a little bit taller, reaching the crown of your head up to the ceiling. Let your hands come and rest on your knees or your thighs, whichever feels more comfortable. If you want more energy, you can turn your palms up. If you feel like you're a little, you know, frazzled, frazzled, you can turn your palms down for a little bit more grounding. If it's comfortable, close your eyes. If not, just look out at the ground in front of you so that your eyeballs are softened, that your gaze is softened. And then start to pay attention to how your breath feels. So you're gonna to wanna to breathe in, feel the air coming in through your nose, filling up your lungs. And then exhale out through your mouth letting the air hiss out through your mouth between your lips. We're gonna repeat that. So breathe in deeply through the nose, feel the air coming in through your nostrils, down your throat, into your chest, and then exhale out through your lungs, through your mouth, making a little bit of a sound, maybe like you're blowing out through a straw. Another deep breath in. Long, slow exhale out. Do this a few more times as you settle into your space, into your body, into your room. Letting go of anything that you've done before, anything that you have to come, focusing on you and how you feel. On your next inhale, reach your arms out to the side, reaching them all the way up overhead. Let your palms touch. And then exhale, flip your palms, press the air back down into the ground. Breathe in, scoop the air up, bring it all up above you, fingertips, palms touch. And then exhale, press it all down. Inhale all the way up. Exhale out and down. This time we're going to inhale all the way up. Reach your arms up. Spread your fingertips apart. And now reach up like you're pulling apples out of a tree. Feeling a stretch through your side body. Maybe a little bit of a bend in your arms. All right. I am going to do my best to mirror you. So follow me. Inhale, reach both arms up, and on your exhale, you're going to twist to the left. Your right hand is going to come to your left knee. Your left arm is going to come behind you. Your spine is going to be nice and tall. Breathe in, and on your exhale, twisting from your waist, see if you can look over your left shoulder a little bit more. Take one more breath here. Keep your right hand where it is and reach your left arm out to the side all the way up by your ear and exhale over to the right. Let your left hip get heavy. Notice if it popped up off the ground, press it back down. Breathe here. Now turn your nose towards your right knee and see if you can lean forward like you're looking into the pond just past your right knee. Let your left hand come down, walk both hands out in front of you. Maybe your elbows come down to the mat. Maybe your forehead comes down. You can sway side to side if that feels good. And now walk your fingers back in towards your leg, roll yourself up, coming back up to a straight spine. 
I invite you to switch which leg is in front. So this might feel a little awkward, a little uncomfortable. If it's sticky, just go back to the way you were. Take a moment, see if you need to readjust, find your sit bones. And now inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, press the air away from you. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, press the air away from you. Inhale, squeeze. Exhale, down. One more time. This time we're going to reach our arms up. Reach, 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 reach up. And as we exhale, oh yeah, pick the apples. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> pick those apples. Pick the apples. And now this time, reach up. And on your exhale, twist to the right, bringing your left hand to your right knee and your right arm behind you. Lengthen your spine up to the ceiling, sitting nice, carry sitting up nice and tall. And then exhale, think about twisting from your waist, letting your chest and shoulders follow your waist. Look over your right shoulder. Breathe here. See if you still have both sit bones, sit bones rounded into the mat. And now reach your right arm up as you exhale, bend over to the left, holding onto that right knee, finding the side body stretch. Notice if your right butt cheek popped up off the ground, see if you can press back down. Beautiful. One more breath here, and then I want you to turn your nose towards your left knee, gaze out over the knee. You're looking into the pond. And now fold forward, walking your hands out in front of you. Letting your elbows come down if that's available. Maybe your forehead down. You can always fold your head up with your arms if you're not reaching all the way down and it's too strenuous. And then walk yourself back up to your seated position. We're going to inhale both arms up overhead and we're going to do a little bit of hand puppets. Get our wrists and our fingers warmed up. I'm sure, you, I'm sure none of you were on a computer or a phone today. No, not at all. All right, and then let your arms float all the way down. Let's make our way into our tabletop position. Lining our hands up underneath our shoulders, our knees are underneath our hips. So you want your knees to be about hip distance apart. Tops of your feet are on the ground. Your shoelace portion of your part, go ahead and flap them a little bit. A little bit of energy, nice. And then come find stillness here. As you find the stillness, you're pressing your hands into the mat, pressing into your fingertips, your knuckles, the outer edges of your hands. You're pressing down into your shins. So if you have any knee pain, think about pressing into your entire shin and the top of your foot. From here, you're lifting your belly button up towards your spine. Take one more breath here. And now drop your belly, open your heart, big inhale for a cow spine. Exhale, chin to chest, crown of the head down to the floor, rounding for cow. Roll back forward for cow. And exhale for cow. One more time, roll forward. And exhale, round. Come back to your neutral spine. Reach your right leg back behind you, keeping your toes on the ground, and then rock back and forth over your toes, stretching out your calf muscle, moving your hips back and forth. And then from here, start to lift your right leg up behind you. Now notice when you lifted your right leg up, I don't want you to come up higher than hip height, nice. And then notice if the weight in your hands shifted and see if you can bring that back to being somewhat even between your right and your left hand. 
Now reach your left arm forward. And if you can, lift it up off the ground, finding your balance. Nice. It will help if you gaze straight down in front of you. And if it's available on your exhale, draw your left elbow to your right knee. Inhale, extend back out long. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. One more time. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, lengthen. Keep your leg where it is. Let your left hand come down. Take your right leg, swing it over to the left, and then let the toes come down to the mat. You might feel a big stretch through your right hip. Gaze over your left shoulder and your right toes, feeling a big arch. You're making a backward C shape. Take one more breath here, and then slide the right leg back. Return the right knee underneath you. Curl your toes. Sit back on your heels, coming off your wrist. Give your wrist a little break. Nice. All right, other side. Come back to your tabletop position. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Pointer fingers pointing forward. Reach your left leg back behind you. All five toes are pressing into the mat. And now start to rock back and forth. Notice if you let everything get a little saggy and remember that you want to keep this lift through your belly, through your torso, knitting your rib cage in, and then come to stillness, lift your left leg up behind you, no higher than hip height. Think about your heel reaching back, like I'm coming around and I'm pulling your foot, nice. And now if it's available, reach your right arm forward and up. Finding your balance. And if it's available, exhale, bring your knee and elbow to meet. Inhale, reach back out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach back out. One more time, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, reach back out. Lower your right hand down, keep your leg where it is. Float your leg over to the right, letting the toes come down when your leg is over there. And then look over your right shoulder, making a big C shape from the crown of your head all the way down to your foot. Take one more breath here. And then bring the leg back underneath you. Open your knees as wide as your mat. Move your hips back, coming into a child's pose, letting your forehead come all the way down. Drop your forehead on the mat, giving yourself a little bit of a massage. Take one more breath here. And now I invite you to walk your fingers out in front of you. Fly your fingertips into the mat like little spider hands so that your palms lift up off the mat. Feel like you're pulling the mat towards you. Take one more breath in this active position and then do start to lift yourself up, planting your hands, curling your toes, coming slowly into your first downward facing dog. Breathe here. Pedal your down dog out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Your arms should be about shoulder distance apart. Your pointer fingers are pointing towards me, spreading your other fingers out. Feet are about hip distance apart. And then bend one knee, bend the other knee. Nice. And then find some stillness. So let your heels get heavy. Pretend you have little weights on the backs of your heels. Bring your head in between your arms so your ears and your biceps are aligned. Take one more breath here. And then slowly, one breath at a time, move forward into a high plank. Now from this high plank, check and see, are your shoulders over your wrists? If they're forward, pull back. Maybe you need to walk your feet back a little bit. Measuring your body. And then lift, without moving your hands or feet, lift your hips back up into your down dog. 
Pause here. Do that a few more times. Inhale, ripple, roll through your spine one vertebra at a time into your plank pose. Pause here in plank. Lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Pause here in down dog. Roll forward to plank. Pause here in plank. And then lift up to downward facing dog. Breathe here. Notice if you're rolling into the outer edges of your palm, and press down with your thumb and your pointer finger. Float your right leg up behind you. Draw your right knee into your nose and then slide your right foot up between your hands. Lower your left knee down, untuck mm -hmm. your toes. Come on up. Reaching up, you're in your 90-90, arms straight up. Now notice if your hips are a little wonky, you want to think about being straight forward. Your right knee should be over your ankle. Your arms are up nice and tall. And then notice if you're arching your lower back. So think about pressing this tailbone down, which actually might stretch through your front hip flexor. If you're feeling wobbly, open your legs a little bit wider. Nice. Take one more breath here. And then exhale your fingertips down to the mat. We're gonna shift our hips back, flex our right foot coming into our runner stretch. Now everybody's body measurements are a little bit different. You might, I need to slide my right foot forward. Some people don't, some people do. Take one more breath here and then roll back onto your right foot. Plant your hands on either side of your right foot. Curl your left toes under, lift your left knee. Step back to downward facing dog. Breathe here. Put your left leg up behind you. Bend your left knee, bring it all the way forward. Slide your left foot up between your hands. Low lunge, lower your right knee down, untuck your toes, lift your arms up 90-90. Check that your hips are square in the front of the room. Make sure you're pressing into your big toe your pinky toe and the heel of your left foot. Reach those arms up, lengthen your tailbone, find your balance, and then float your fingertips down to the mat, shift your hips back, flex your left toes, stretching your hamstring. One more breath here. Pull back onto your left foot, plant your fingers, Curl your right toes, step back to downward facing dog. Breathe here. Now in this staying in down dog, we're gonna lift our heels up and then we're gonna drop them over to the right. Then we're gonna come back up to center and drop them over to the left. Yup, good job. We'll do that one more time in case you didn't catch it the first time. Lift your heels up, drop them to the right. Put a hip stretch, come back to center, getting into that outer hip, drop them to the left, come back to center. Realign, make any adjustments you need to and float your right foot back up again. Bring your right knee towards your nose, slide your right hand up between your hands, you're in your little lunge. Breathe here. Now, Keep your left knee lifted, or you can lower it down, and we're going to reach up to our high lunge. Breathe here. So we went through the first round with our left knee lowered. Our second round with our left knee lifted is optional. Take one more breath here. Bring your hands down. Straighten your front leg as much as you can. Letting your head hang down. Breathe here. Rebend your front leg, plant your hands, step back to downward facing dog. 
Put your left leg up behind you, bend your left knee, slide your left foot all the way forward, low lunge. Optional, keep the right knee lifted this time. Reach your arms up. Nice. Press down with your right left big toe, left pinky toe. Take one more breath here. And then bring your hands down to the mat, straighten your front leg as much as possible. Breathe here. And then re-bend the left leg, step back to downward facing dog. Look forward in your hands and slowly start to walk your feet all the way up to the front of the mat to meet your hands. Letting your head hang heavy, reach for opposite elbows, bend your knees, and maybe you sway gently side to side. Release your elbows, reach your arms out to the side and slowly stand all the way up, coming up nice and slowly. And then let your palms come down by your side. Nice, everyone. And let's do a few sun A's. So inhale your arms up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right leg back, coming into your low lunge. Pause here, coming up on your fingertips, reach that right heel back, feel the stretch in your legs. Plant your hands, slide your left leg back to plank. Lower your knees. Hug your elbows in and lower down, chest and chin. Untuck your toes. Baby cobra. Exhale. Come up through tabletop. Curl your toes under. Downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Step your right foot up by your hand, low lunge, coming up onto your fingertips. And then bring your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, scoop your arms all the way out and up. Exhale, your hands down by your side. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left foot back. Low lunge. Lower your left knee down, reach your arms up. Exhale, your hands down by your front foot, lift your left knee, slide your right leg back to plank. Lower your knees, hug your elbows in, lower your chest and chin, untuck your toes, baby cobra. Exhale through tabletop, curl your toes, downward facing dog, breathe here. Step your left foot up between your hands, lower your right knee down, inhale your arms up. Exhale your arms down, lift your right knee, and then step your right foot forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, bring your arms all the way out and up. Exhale, down by your side. One more. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands, slide your right leg back. This time, keep your knee lifted. If available, come on up to high lunge. Exhale, your hands back down. Step back to plank. Knees, chest, chin, or if you prefer, you can lower halfway down to chaturanga. Coming into upward facing dog. Exhale, the downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Step your right foot forward, low lunge. Inhale up to high lunge. Exhale your fingertips down. Step forward, fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. 
exhale, hands down by your side. All right, if you have water, you need water, this is a good time to do it. Warm. It is warm in here tonight. Where's Orly when she, she likes it all high? <laughs> All right, so once you get your sip of water, come on back. Find a stance where your feet are about hip distance apart. And we're gonna do some balancing. I'm gonna mirror you. So shift your weight to your right leg. Start to peel your left heel up. See if you can lift up your left knee, hold gently onto the outer shin. There are plenty of chairs, counters, walls, et cetera. Go use what you need to use. Take one more breath. All right, lower that leg down. Shift the weight back and forth. Now shift your weight into your left leg. Start to draw your right knee up. Hold on to the outer edge of your right thigh. Right shin, sorry, right shin. Take another breath here. And now lower that leg down, shift back and forth. So what ha might help is if you find some place back behind me that's not moving to focus on, might help with your balance. It might also help if you think about drawing your belly button up, your tailbone down. Think about your knees being a little bit of bent, so like, you know, someone could have... So now shift your weight back into that right foot. Lift your leg up. Either hold on to your shin, or if you're feeling adventurous, reach for the outer edge of your foot. So you can try and extend your leg, whatever is available. Ah, bring that arm out for balance. It's always helpful. Keeping your knee bent. Nice, love the variations. Now, can you go from here into a version of a tree without putting your foot down? If you have to put your foot down, you have to put your foot down. It's not the end of the world. Look at that. Look at all these beautiful trees above the knee, below the knee, not on the knee. And it was a little windy today, so let's see that. Woo! All right, bring that leg down. You want to get right to that edge where you almost fall over. Test your balance. Test yourself. See if you can let go. All right, shift your weight into your left leg. Lift that knee up, holding on to the outer edge of your shit. If you want to try holding on to the outer edge of your foot, bring that leg out in front of you. It is not important if this left right leg is straight. What I'm more concerned about is your standing leg and that your torso is more upright. Yeah, keep the leg bent. We want to think about balance in this direction. And then can you go from here into your tree pose? So nice, everyone. Reaching those arms up, moving around. Three second thunderstorm, and then come all the way back down. Beautiful, come back to your spaces. Are we doing any more balancing? No, we're done balancing. <laughs> We are done balancing. We're turning to your back. You know, it's one of those things that you keep working on. Helps with mobility. All right, let's build. Yeah, we have time. Let's do a little flow. We'll go nice and slow. Sometimes it's worse. I will admit. So inhale, bring your arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to plank. From this plank, you can lower your knees, chest, chin, or you can go chaturanga halfway down. Whatever is in your practice, whatever your body is asking for, or maybe you skip it all together and maybe in downward facing dog. Breathing here. We're going to lift our left leg up behind us. Rotate your ankle in one direction. Left ankle. Rotate your left ankle in the other direction. And now draw your knee into your chest. 
slowly moving forward, floating your left foot up between your hands, coming into your low lunge. Plant your right hand down, reach your left arm forward, and then bring it up into your twist. Reach your right heel back, getting long from the crown of your head all the way to your right heel. With your left hand, you're gonna reach back towards your right foot and then bring your left hand down to the side of outer edge of your left foot. Coming up onto your fingertips, open your heart forward and then reach your arms out now coming into your high lunge. Breathe here. Lower your right foot down, opening into your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, let your fingertips touch overhead, and then exhale, melt back into your warrior two. Check your feet. You want your left foot to be in the center, pressing into the outer edge of your right foot. And then turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Other way, Karen. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Take one more breath here. We're gonna come all the way through to side angle, placing our left forearm on our left thigh, reaching our right arm up and over. Right bicep by right ear. Breathe here. Sit your left hip down a little bit more. Now bring your right hand down to the ground. Walk a little bit to your right, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. Fold here. And now we're going to walk back towards the front, coming into a low lunge, lifting our right heel up, and then reaching that left arm out and up, ending back where we started with our twist. Bring the left hand down, step your left foot back to plank, go through your version of your vinyasa, skip it all together. Take a pause, whatever you need, and we will all meet in downward facing dog. Breathe here. Now notice where your hands are. Make sure your pointer fingers are still pointing forward. You're pressing into your knuckles and your fingertips. Float your right leg up behind you. Rotate your ankle in one direction, and then switch it and rotate it in the other direction. Draw your right knee into your chest and slide your right foot up between your hands. Right finger, left hand down, reach your right arm forward and then bring it up to the ceiling as you come into your twist. Breathe here. Reach your right arm back towards the back of your mat as you finish the big circle. And bring your right hand down next to your right foot. Coming up on your fingertips, open your heart. Press down through your front foot as you rise on up to high lunge. And now turn your back foot down as you open into warrior two. If you need to adjust your feet so that your front foot is bisecting through your back foot, arms at shoulder height, Lengthen and straighten, arms tap overhead, and then exhale, melt back down. Beautiful. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Come all the way through the side angle, reach your left arm over your head. Drop your right hip a little bit more. And then bring your hand, left hand down, walk to the left, coming back into your forward fold. Maybe this time you walk your fingertips back so that they're in line with your toes. Maybe you can go further than that. <coughs> Excuse me. What's up? 
Yeah. Finished. And then slowly walk back into your low lunge. Finished. Because I can't do all the things she up, coming back to that twist. Yeah. And then right hand down, slide your right foot back. Go through your version of your vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, all the way down to your stomach. Take a back bend, and we'll all meet in downward facing dog. We're going to mix that up just a little bit, not too much. All right, so let your left leg up behind you. This time we're going to bend our left knee, open our hip. Once your left knee is pointing up towards the ceiling and your hip is open, rotate your ankle in one direction and then rotate it in the other direction. Extend the left leg up behind you, nice and long, and now draw the left knee all the way into your chest and slide the left foot up coming into your low lunge. Planting your right hand down, reach your left arm forward and up, nice and slow. We are in this marshy bob, moving slowly. Left arm comes all the way back towards the back of the mat, slides down by the left foot, then reach both arms forward and up, coming into your high lunge. Breathe here. Open into your warrior two. Strain your left leg, palms touch overhead. Exhale, melt back into your warrior two. Turn your left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Stay here in your peaceful warrior and straighten your front leg coming into peaceful triangle. Breathe here. Lift yourself up, arms in T, reach forward, coming all the way into your triangle pose. Right arm up to the ceiling, left hand on the floor or on your shin. Nice. And now from here, we're gonna walk into that forward fold, wide-legged forward fold towards the right. So from this forward fold, I want you to turn your right toes about 45 degrees, bend your right knee and come into a side lunge. So your left toes might lift up off the mat. Other knee, other way, Anna, there you go. And maybe you can lift your hands. Maybe you can balance like this. Yep, you got it, Carrie. One more breath here. And now walk back into that low lunge, left knee bent, one hand on either side. We're gonna plant our right hand. We're gonna reach up into our twist. Stay here or option to roll onto the outer edge of your right foot and coming into a side plank or a supported side plank. Reach your hips up to the ceiling and then bring your left hand down coming into your high plank, vinyasa of your choice, knees, chest, chin, baby cobra, tabletop to downward facing dog, And we'll all meet in our down dog. Put your right leg up behind you, bend your right knee, pointing your right knee up towards the ceiling. And then twirl your right ankle in one direction. And twirl your right ankle in the other direction. Extend the right leg back up behind you. Draw the knee into the chest and slide the right foot up between your hands. Reach your right arm forward and up. Reach your left heel back. Feel a stretch through your spine. And then reach your right arm all the way back, raising the floor to reach both arms forward, floating into your high reach. 
Open into your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, fingertips tap overhead. Exhale, melt back into that warrior two. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Stay here, straighten your right leg, peaceful triangle. Engage your glutes, engage your torso, reach your arms into a T-shape. Reach towards me. Let your right hand come down to your shin or the floor, reaching your left arm up. Nice, coming into triangle. Take one more breath here. And now fold forward into that wide-legged forward fold, walking your hands to the left. Turn your left toes at a 45 degree angle. Bend your left knee. Your right toes can come up off the mat as you come into a side lunge. And if you want to experiment floating your arms up, Nice. And now we're gonna walk back into our low lunge at the front of our mat, right foot on the ground, left heel lifted, reach that right arm up, coming back into the twist where we started. Optional side plank or supported side plank. Stacking your hips. And then bring your right hand down, coming into plank. Go through your version of your vinyasa and we will be in downward facing dog. One more time, little shorter, little faster. Float your left leg up behind you. Reach your heel up, draw your knee into your chest, slide your left foot up between your hands, low lunge. Think about reaching your left arm forward as you reach your right heel back and you come into that twist. Breathe here. Take one more breath, reach your left arm back. Raise the floor as you reach both arms up and forward, coming into your high lunge. Open into your warrior two. Straighten your front leg, fingertips touch overhead. Exhale, melt back into your warrior two. Left palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Straighten your left leg, peaceful triangle. Come all the way forward into triangle. Take one more breath here. Bend your left knee, sliding yourself into side angle so your forearm on your leg. Right arm reaches up. And then rotate yourself into your low lunge front of your mat. Slide your left leg back. Go through your version of your vinyasa. And we will meet in downward facing dog. All right. Float your right leg up. Reach your right heel far away from you. Draw your right knee into your chest, slide your right foot up between your hands. Reach your left heel back, right arm forward, open to the right, reaching up. Reach your right arm all the way back, raise your fingers, reach on up, high lunge. Open into warrior two. Straighten your right leg, fingertips tap overhead. Exhale, melt back down. Turn your right palm up, exhale back, peaceful warrior. Straighten your right leg, peaceful triangle. Reach forward towards me, coming into triangle. Take a breath here. And now bend your right knee, sliding your right forearm onto your right thigh, side angle. Rotate yourself into your low lunge. Plant one hand on either side. Slide your right foot back to plank. Last vinyasa. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. And we will all meet in downward facing dog. 
breathe into the earth. Lower your knees down to the mat, cross your ankles, and let's meet in a seated position, legs out in front of you. I would like everyone to start with their knees bent. Adjust your bum if you need to sit up nice and tall. We're going to reach our arms up. We're doing this to find this leg, this tall spine. Exhale, hinge forward at your hips. Your belly might touch your thighs and then let your arms come down to the mat. Breathe here. We're winding down, we're slowing down. Now, millimeter by millimeter, shift your heels away from you. Tiny little bit at a time. Keeping that length through your back, the extension through your hips. We're not thinking about curling up on ourselves. We're thinking about staying long and open. And you might have one millimeter. That might have been your extension there. And breathe here. And then roll all the way back up. Plant the soles of your feet on the ground. Reach your arms forward and slowly roll down. Nice and slow. I won't do my marble counting. I trust you all to go nice and slow. Once you're down on the back, reach your right leg up straight to the ceiling. Keeping your hands on the mat, Extend your left leg away from you. So I want you to focus on the energy in your legs. And now can you lift your left foot an inch off the ground? Lift your left leg an inch off the ground. Place your left leg down, slide back so that the sole of your left foot is on the floor. Left knee up to the air. And now bend the right foot and place it on the left knee. Let's come into our figure four nice and slow. So first, gently open your right knee out to the side. Then lift your left shin so it's parallel to the floor. Then reach behind your left thigh. Next, gently pull that thigh in towards your chest. Using your right elbow to gently press your right thigh away from you. Now from here, this is where it gets good and juicy. You can rock side to side. You can make little circles. You can extend that left leg up to the ceiling. Play around here. This is your time. And now let's unwind this. So left shin parallel to the floor, release the hands, lower the left foot, extend the right leg up to the ceiling, plant the right foot on the ground. Windshield wiper your knees right to left. Plant both feet on the ground. Extend the left leg up to the ceiling. Keep your arms on the mat. Extend, sorry, left leg up to the ceiling. Right leg extended away from you on the ground. I got that backwards. There you go. Now lift that right foot, that right leg up just a little bit. Nice, everyone. And lower the right leg down. Slide the right foot onto the mat, right knee to the ceiling. Bend the left leg, place the left ankle on the right knee. Gently press the left thigh open with your left hand. And then lift the right shin so it's parallel to the ground. Next, reach behind the right thigh and release your fingers. Gently pull your right thigh in towards your chest using your left elbow to press your left thigh away from you. And now make it juicy. Rock and roll side to side, maybe straightening and bending your leg, making little circles.
And now let's slowly come out of that. Right shin parallel to the ground, release the thigh, right foot on the ground, left leg up to the air, left foot down on the ground. Walk your feet so they're as wide as your yoga mat and move into your windshield wipers nice and wide. Bring your legs back together, straighten your left leg, draw your right knee into your chest, and then gently bring your right leg across your body, opening your right arm, coming into a twist. Breathe here. Look over your opposite shoulder. And now roll back onto your back. Bring both knees up, slide your right leg out, draw your left knee into your chest, and then bring your left leg across to the right, opening your left arm out, looking over your left shoulder. And now come back to center, hug both knees in, maybe make some little circles. Maybe your body wants you to take a happy baby or a wide-legged stretch. Take this time to move and do anything that you need to do. And when you're ready, move yourself into your Shavasana, slowly extending one leg and then the other away from you, one arm and then the other. Let your body get heavy. Bring your energy and attention to your feet, to your toes. Go ahead and squeeze your toes, curl them into your feet, tighten all the muscles in your feet, squeeze them together, and then let them go, shake them out, let them relax. Bring your energy, focus, and attention to your legs, to your calves, your shins, your knees, your thighs, your hamstrings. Squeeze all the muscles of your legs together, wrapping them around your bones, tightening them up, and then exhale, let them go, shake them out, let them relax. Bring your energy, attention, and focus to your hips, to your waist. Squeeze your bum, suck in your waistline. Draw your belly button to your spine. Split it all in. And then exhale, let it out. Let it relax. Place your thumb in the palm of your hand. Wrap your other fingers around your thumb. Squeeze it tight, tensing up the muscles in your hands. And then let them go. Shake out your fingers. Let them relax. Bring the attention and focus to your arms, to your forearm, your elbows, your biceps, your triceps. Tense all those muscles up. Squeeze them in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then let it go. Shake it out. Let it relax. Bring the focus to your chest, your shoulders, your neck. Tighten up those muscles. Clenching your shoulders, squeezing it in, sucking it in, squeeze it in, and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. Bring your energy, attention, and focus to your head, to your face. Purse your lips, scrunch your cheeks, close your eyes. Feel the tension in your forehead, wrinkling everything up and in, and then let it go. Shake it out, let it relax. From the top of your head, all the way down through your neck, your shoulders, your torso, your hips, your legs, your feet. 
squeeze and tense every single muscle up. Make your whole body as tense and tight as possible. Maybe even hold the breath in and then let it all out. Shake it out, let your entire body relax. We move into our stillness. I will come around with a little bit of lavender oil for a Shavasana adjustment. If you do not want this adjustment, go ahead and place your hand on your chest so I know to avoid you. Nice and your breath. Be wiggling your fingers and your toes.
Give your hand rock and move side to side. If you're ready, stretch your arms overhead. Remember, take your time. There's no rush. And then roll onto your side. Hanging out there for a few breaths, readjusting. When you're ready, you meet me in a seated position. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Feel your breath, feel your heartbeat, feel that light moving around inside of you. Gently bow your head if that's comfortable for you. Thank yourself, acknowledge the time that you took this evening, the hard work that you did just for you. Thank you for letting me lead you through your practice this evening. Namaste.